$10,000 was almost theirs. How could you do this to us? And then it was gone in a flash. You have been chopped. The opportunity missed, not easily forgotten. <laughs> but now they attempt to redeem themselves. Let's do it. Four chopped losers wrestle for the coveted title of chopped champion. Come on, cook, cook, cook. Who will finally win? <laughs> and who will be chopped again? Oh. Welcome back, chefs. As you'll recall, there are three rounds, appetizer, entree, and dessert. Each course in the meal comes with its own basket of mystery ingredients. You must use every ingredient in the basket in some way. If your dish doesn't cut it, you will be chopped again. Please open your baskets. And the mandatory ingredients for the appetizer course are pancake mix, guava nectar, Aleppo peppers, and Asian-style beef jerky. Exactly 20 minutes on the clock. Time starts now. I don't eat beef jerky. I don't believe in food made into a shoe sole. But it's an ingredient that I can work with. My immediate instinct now is to put it in the pancake mix with the Aleppo peppers and let the flavor from the beef jerky and the pepper lead into the rest of the pancakes. Cooking for me has always been very easy. My cuisine is based on quality of ingredients. The better the ingredients, the better the final product. I rinse the jerky, then put a little star anise and cardamom, a little bit of Madeira to modify the flavor of the beef then attempt to build a roulade with the pancake batter. Last time, I wanted that prize to be able to see my grandmother in France because she is very ill. But I didn't get to see her, so I don't want to lose again. Right away, I'm thinking little crabs, stuffed with Aleppo peppers, yogurt, goat cheese, and ricotta to give fluffiness and the beef. Immediately, my mind draws this huge blank. I draw on God for a direction. And I think to myself, soup, carne seca. In culinary school, we made that soup with the dried beef. I want to incorporate lime, and shallots, and the Aleppo peppers. It's all starting to make sense to me. 30 seconds. I'm thinking I'm on schedule. I'm feeling very good. Come on, Chris. Oh come, on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time's up. Please step back. Chef Siggy, how'd you do? I made for you beef jerky pancakes topped with fresh salad in a lemon lime guava dressing. Next up, Chef Lance. We have an Asian-inspired sopa de carne seca with the dried beef, the guava in it, and tempura chives. Next, we go to Chef Yuan. I'm presenting you goat cheese-infused jerky crepinas with baby arugula in guava uh, vinaigrette. And finally, Chef Christopher. Thank you, Ted. Today, I prepared for you a rehydrated beef roulade with goat's cheese, onions, and guava reduction. So, whose dish is on the chopping block? I hate this feeling. Oh. Chef Christopher, you've been chopped. Thank you. Judges? Well, Christopher, you seem to wrestle a lot with the ingredients you had on the plate. And unfortunately, we really couldn't taste them in the dish. Thanks for coming back, Chef. Thank you so much, everybody. I beat myself. That's how I lost today. Chef Siggy, Chef Lance, Chef Yuan, please open your baskets. And the mandatory ingredients are fresh wasabi root, crab apples, collard greens, and lamb hearts. You will have 30 minutes this time. Clock starts now. Something in stew always say home. So I'd like to bring the flavors in the heart with all the different herbs and spices from my Moroccan cuisine. Never used lamb heart before, but it's a high activity muscle, so I know that it's gonna be very tough. So I decide to grind it. 
And to make lamb stuffed collard greens. I'm thinking lamb hot Provençal. I put a bit of paprika, mustard seed, dried thyme, and the mixture brings that South of France taste to the meat. She is back. Look at that. Christmas on a plate. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time's up. Please step away. Chef Lance. Well, what I've made for you is lamb heart and collard parcels over cinnamon grits and a crab apple wasabi compote. Moving on, Chef Siggy. I have made for you a rustic Moroccan style lamb heart stew with crab apples and sauteed collard greens with fresh wasabi on the finish and pine nuts. And our last entree, Chef Yuan. Chefs, I have served you lamb heart provençal, served with collard green wasabi puree with crab apples in a red wine reduction sauce. So, whose dish is on the chopping block? Chef Siggy, once again, you've been chopped. Judges? Siggy, it was so delightful to see you back here. Unfortunately, the heart, while delicious, it was left with arteries and the crab apples. You didn't clean them. And for those reasons, we have to chop you today. It's all good. Thank you. Of course I'm frustrated. It's almost worse to come back and not to win again. Chef Lance, Chef Yoann. Please open your baskets for the dessert round. You must use duck eggs, russet potatoes, farmer's cheese, and honey herb cough drops. 30 minutes on the clock. Time starts now. The duck eggs made me think of doing pain perdu. I need bread and some milk. I start off wanting to do a duck egg anglaise. An anglaise is made of heavy cream and typically vanilla. One minute left. Now I am in a panic attack mode. Jeffrey, are you OK? I'm so nervous. I am going to try my hardest not to get chopped again. 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Please step back. Chef Yoann. You have a duck pain perdu with farmer's cheese fondant on the top. And next we go to Chef Lance. I made a gnocco frito with chocolate farmer's cheese and potatoes. Then a honey herb cough drop ice cream. So whose dish is on the chopping block? Chef Yoann, once again, you've no been problem. chopped. Yoann, clearly you put up an incredible fight here today. I mean, it really went down to small details. And really, by a molecule, it's what we had to do. Thank you very much. Love? <laughs> Good job. Good job. You too. Au revoir. Au revoir. Thank you very much. Wait. Oui. Um. Um, I didn't expect to win, and so I wasn't expecting to get the money anyway. So, you know what? You deserve to see your grandma. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna give you the ticket. <laughs> yes. Come here. Thank, Thank you. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. I can not have to say anything. You don't have to say anything. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Wow. What an amazing experience. Like we talked about, we're both winners. Oh, yes, we are. Thank you. Good night, babe. Thank you. I am speechless. It's the most beautiful gift that someone can get, and I will never forget it. Congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs>